I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Welcome back, everyone. I am the Dungeon Master, and this is Dragons of War. We are rejoining the party as they have entered a rather large cave system that had reality altered, been transformed into a giant pumpkin lair for a very strange beholder. But now that it has reverted back to its more original uh, form, it has still been affected greatly by the Beholder's presence. But um, the, the things that once lived in it are, are back in sometimes altered ways and so uh you guys had gotten up ahead here uh on the map and let me clear d'angelo quick so that one of you can take control of him there we go and um as as you guys had gotten further up on the on the map here you had encountered a huge undead spider that was the mother of the undead spider swarms that you had um, encountered. And she's got a bunch of egg sacs and she shot a web at you which was my little way of letting you know that she can shoot webs 
so uh, go ahead and roll for initiative and um, whoever has D'Angelo, go ahead and roll for him too. I don't think any of us have D'Angelo. Who wants to control him? Uh, is he level 6? Yes. I'll control him. Are we supposed to be level 6 or are we supposed to be level 5? Uh, 6. Are we supposed to be 6? Oh, I'm level 5. Uh, I am level 5. Yeah, I'll fix that. Do you want, do you, are you okay with us fixing that really quick, DM? Yes. Okay. Well, as long as it's really quick. Um, I'll pick my spells later. Yeah. That should I don't, make it quicker. Like, as long as you just go to the level up and, like, get your new hit dice and all of that, you know, it should, it should be fine, but. Went double Other, check. Otherwise, no. I'm trying to kill you here. Let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> Just trying to do check one thing. Yeah, because that got me a whole extra third level spell slot. Oh. And... Did D'Angelo level up twice? Are you guys only supposed to be level 5? I thought we were supposed to be level 5, that's why. Yeah, I think D'Angelo just over leveled. Yeah. That's okay, though, because right. this, uh, this is a boss fight, so uh, you guys. Um, we're we're set to level up soon anyway. Understood. So we'll wait and I wait until then. Well, you can go ahead and do it, is what I'm saying, because they they did and they got their extra hit points and everything, so. Yeah, because I have three spells I have to pick this uh, this level up. So I'll wait until after the end of the session to pick to actually take them. I just picked a quick feat. Wait, let me see okay. if I let me see if I can do this. I have an ability score improvement. Okay, yeah. There we go. Wait. Yeah. He should be level 5 now. I don't know why that one still says six. Oh, because I had it open still. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right. And Pesci. Sorry. D'Angelo confused me. And Perzor. All right, there. Now everybody's level five. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> initiative for everyone. Except for Perzor, who already rolled. Initiative. I was about to say, did I... I thought I rolled it, but I need to open the... There we go, combat. Huge undead spider. Huge. Oh god, how and not one. 
apparently Gorakul is fascinated by the ecology of these undead spiders being able to you know still have eggs that hatch and uh you're you're so distracted thinking about what could be causing this that you forgot you're about to fight well at least now that i'll be i'll be able to heal folks after they get damaged and then don't forget to roll initiative for d'angelo Who is controlling D'Angelo? Is that Gabe or? I was I... thinking of it's controlling after, him. It's afterthought. Oh, that's me. Okay. I was pretty sure it was you, so like I I had to well, go look and be like, uh, is it that you? <laughs> Well, I, like, I opened it up, I didn't realize that was me claiming the character, then Gabriel said he was going to roll initiative for him, so I was just like, okay, cool, I guess I don't have to do that. Yeah. Alright, well, you won initiative, so... What do uh, you do? Can, can we get the light back? Uh, yeah, so... Um, D'Angelo had a torch, and I just need to do this. There you go. Well, I think D'Angelo... Let's see here. Well... The smart thing to do would be to wait. The D'Angelo thing to do... is to charge in. Mm -hmm. And make a couple attacks against this huge undead spider. Ah, but you're holding uh, a torch. Make the attack with the torch now. He can one-hand his axe. <laughs> Oh, if I drop the torch. Don't drop the torch! Yeah, that seems like a pretty bad idea. Well, uh, it's a... Oh, he doesn't actually have... Oh, yeah, I have a great axe I can use one-handed. Huh? No. Not one-handed. Which is his primary hand. The double-bladed scimitar says two hands. Okay, that makes more sense. This uh, is handed too. So, uh, so how is he holding the torch? I'm going to give the torch to Bitey Slayer. He, he, he was holding the torch and the great axe in one hand, but he can't swing it with two, without using two hands. I'm going to hand the torch to Bitey Slayer. Then rush in. I, and then I don't need this. I can see in the dark. <laughs> would you rather him I, drop it? Take the torch. Would, yeah. <laughs> would you rather me drop it? Oh, just fine. Heshi, Heshi, Heshi Slayer, takes. Mighty Slayer will be your torch holder. Fine. <laughs> Heshi was about to take the torch room. Go. <laughs> and then I'll run in and. Charge the undead spider. There. Now you I think. Have a torch. I think he gets two attacks, right? Yes. Don't forget to rage. Yeah. How do I activate rage? Uh, you get really angry. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm raging. And then the effect. Yeah. There you go. You got it. Some sort of machine present in the building. Uh, what is divine fury? And that, do I want to activate that? Yeah, uh, so that is one of his abilities. Oh. Uh, when your weapon strikes, the first creature you hit on each of your turns with a weapon attack takes 1d6 plus half your barbarian level uh, necrotic or radiant damage. Um, did, he, did he choose... I'm guessing he chose radiant. Yeah, he, he would be Radiant, which is the uh, second button there. Um, but one second, it's also supposed to be an, an extra two damage. There we go. Oh, 
All right, and so I think we're going to go ahead and use this uh, Great Axe plus one and swing at him well, first once. Oh, don't forget to target. That I does, needed to target it. Hit. That does hit. So let's do... Let's do some damage there. Let's go ahead and swing again with my extra attack. The spider's thick Dang. carapace deflects the great axe. It glows with a white radiant glow as D'Angelo's holy uh, energy attacks the the undead spider. Um, but uh, the the shell just you know deflects it anyway. Uh, is the liz is the bite a bonus attack or? Yes. It's a, just a bonus action? Yes. So I can go ahead and bite at it as well? Yes. How do I roll the bite? Uh, the same as... Oh, there we go. It's not quite, not quite the same, but I figured it out. I missed on the bite, too. Probably don't want to get a whole mouthful of undead spider. Yeah, well, and it's hard because those legs are huge just like pushing at you and and biting at you and everything so it's it's not just uh um easy to like swing and hit the the actual body of the spider you know all right so that is my turn ooh i'm gonna double up here after the huge undead spider. Oh, yeah. All right. So I was going to ranged attack web you guys up, which I figured was, you know, good. But Yeah, that would have sucked. I would not have been happy about that. <laughs> yeah, but I think I will just bite the thing that's attacking me. First, I have to take five more damage, though. Because I was vulnerable to that radiant damage. I just didn't get it on in time. Let's get it on. What? This is nonsense. I call DM Fiat. No. <laughs> uh, so, uh, with that in mind, I am going to... Uh, deciding if I want to move. No, I'll just stay right there. Did no, no attack? I I attacked uh, you and missed D'Angelo. Oh, sorry. I I forgot that me having up two character sheets was, I was going to have to cover up something. All right. I'm going to charge up here and attack this a huge undead spider. It seemed like D'Angelo was doing it so well. Yeah. Uh, like, You're really small, though, so it's really hard to reach it. I mean, you're big for a halfling, but. Dang, 18. All right, uh, go ahead and do it again with my extra attack. Nope, that's not going to work either. Yeah, All right. again, those long legs just are hard to get around, and as your sword strikes at the shell around them, it just kind of bounces off. It's not getting a solid hit. I'll... Uh... The next time the undead spider attacks anyone that's not me, or specifically the next time it attacks D'Angelo, I'll give it disadvantage. Okay. I forgot how to make that happen, but that'll be my turn. Ooh. What's this? Two walls in front of the spider. Oh, well.
you should uh D'Angelo, you should uh stand out a little bit more. Make that spider attack you. Um and use his Bardic inspiration to D'Angelo. And then <clears throat> um There's nothing else here, right? There's just the spider. There's no like egg sacs or anything like that. There are egg sacs. Oh. Ugh. I don't like those egg sacs. Um How do those egg sacs look like they're ready to hatch or anything? Oh yeah. Oh great. <laughs> <laughs> The, is the Chekhov's gun smoking or <laughs> not? <laughs> I mean, the type of DM I am, I wouldn't put egg sacs there if they weren't going to hatch. Um, <laughs> and these spiders, um, when we encountered them before, they they are semi-intelligent, right? What do you mean? Like... I could affect them with psychic damage because I remember doing oh, um, that way. Yeah, you were able to use your vicious mockery and all of that, um, but that's more uh, because these um, don't specifically have an immunity to to psychic damage or anything like that. If if they were uh, supposed to have that, they would, but they do not. Okay. Um, right. I mean, they're they're like spiders, man. I mean, how much intelligence would you say a regular spider has? You know. Yeah, I'm I'm just thinking in terms of uh, would a hypnotic pattern be useful here or not? <laughs> oh, probably not. Yeah. Because that would at least, like, we have a good chance of not having um, any spiders coming out after us immediately. It might take them, like, an extra turn or two. Um, okay. Uh, Pesci steps up and will... Past heroism as a sure he'll step here and cast heroism as a level three spell and target the three of us and I don't have heroism as level three. Oh, one sec. Oh, that's because all it does is targets more people. Okay. So just check so, the appropriate slot. Okay. So. This, there's this. Oh wait, does it increase the amount of temporary hit points? Um <clears throat> No, it just allows me to target one additional creature. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. So I who did I hit so far with this? I hit it to Herzor, Pesci, myself. Mm -hmm. Um And now you just gotta hit up D'Angelo. There you go. Yeah. No, uh, it doesn't look like I have it applying to uh, D'Angelo or... Yep. yep, temporary hit points, three to D'Angelo. Yep, you're good. No, but I mean the effect. Yeah, immune, frightened, three to D'Angelo, Pesci, and Perzor. Okay, oh, it's this middle one is, is a self-effect. Okay, I see. Cool. So that was five ten, and then I will jump back over into my corner and try to avoid getting webbed. And the spider uh, gets an attack of opportunity against you for moving out of its range, and uh, tries to to grab you and and bite you. Shoot, its range is 10? Damn. Yeah.
Uh, One second, sorry. Just trying to... Whoa, I'm targeting too many people. <laughs> I'll still take that miss. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. but did D'Angelo... What? Oh, it should. It, it looks like it applied disadvantage to Pesci's. Uh, weren't you able but, to block for anyone who got attacked next, or did it specifically have to be D'Angelo? It has to be. Yeah, it specifically has to be D'Angelo. It okay. is an an attack that targets somebody that is within five feet of me, and it's somebody making the attack that I can see. All right, and since I dropped a fourteen, it might have been a hit. We we will never know which one was rolled first, so I have to just roll against you this time without disadvantage. Uh, can I use um? I want to use uh cutting words. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you can do that. Ha have I not discovered what my shield is and? Is this a ranged attack that I could potentially use it against? This is not a ranged attack. This is just the spider being so big that it reaches over you with its oh, long okay. legs. And, yeah. But I'm tiny. <laughs> okay. I just gave it a minus, a 1d8 minus. Okay. So now I uh, try that again. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so no, uh, I miss. Uh, oh, but now I wasn't targeting anyone. Whatever. The, I still miss. So uh, go ahead and wrap up your turn. That would have been a hit, <laughs> I think. Oh, yeah, maybe. 14? 14, 14, yeah. Uh, no, because no. 5 plus 9 is um, 14. Yep. Oh, my AC is 15. Oh, uh, just missed. But anyway, I'm I'm would rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> oh, Bitey too would rather be safe. I'm going around the corner. <laughs> Wait, am I covered from the webbing in this corner that I'm at? Uh, well, there's there's like webbing everywhere, but I mean, if the spider decides to shoot webbing at me again. Oh, uh, no. Um, you need to be one step back. Can I take that one step further back? Yeah. Cool. I think I had the space for it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, I had the space for it. Yeah, so now mm -hmm. you have cover. Awesome. And, and Bitey is like, yeah, me too. <laughs> she, she doesn't want none of that. I believe it. I mean, if she can shoot her, uh, her fire, no problem, but she doesn't want to like she's being real careful with the torch even in here. Is this the room where all the notes are in it? No. We don't know. Well, right, but like no, this isn't necessarily where the notes are like Okay. This is just About ready to say, I'm going to spend the whole rest of this time just trying to do a presentation and clean enough of this webbing around it. Yeah. <laughs> to keep it from being caught on fire. This is just where the mother spider is, like, breeding all her little spider horde. You are cool. In his starry form. Oh, uses his... You only have, like, a couple rounds of this left, because uh, we had uh, been walking through the tunnels. So there you go. I mean, it's still 26 rounds, but it's been, like, five minutes. Mm -hmm. Oof! Gorko tries to shoot it, but it's thick! Very, and the carapace reflects your starry arrow off of it like a comet getting... Bounced off of a planet. All right. You've made me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. D'Angelo, let's go. go. Eyes, boo. <laughs> All right. So swinging this great axe once, 
targeting. There we go. No! Okay, doing it again. May no! All right, we're going to bite at it. And no. Alrighty then. Flank <laughs> it! Flank it! I can't... Oh, can I... As long as I don't leave, right? Right. Oh, but... You can move around it now. You still haven't moved yeah, yet. The, the, the issue is that Perzor can't help if I'm not adjacent to something. Uh, I guess uh, we, need to, we need to kill it more than anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and move over there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, for his defensive. Yeah. yeah. I get that, but like also, yeah. It, it it's less important for D'Angelo than it would be for me to, to need some some casters to be up closer if uh if I really want to make use of that. But yeah, we need to kill it more than I and clearly just swinging at it's not working. It also help if you had Lucy, but is that a space that, um, oh, I guess you could step forward too. Okay. One of the egg sacs bursts open and, uh, attacks. They charge forward past Por Perzor into Gorokul. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Uh, you can, if you want. Is there any reason not to? I I can't think of one. Okay. I was like, if, you, if there was something that you were like, yes, take into mind this, then I, I was like, because I don't... I couldn't think of one. Alright, I'm going to take a swing at it. That hit, finally. Oh. Nope. Uh-oh. Hold on. I got the damage on that. I thought I... Oh. You did, of course, hit the hit the swarm. Yeah, I my bad. I thought I was taught. I thought I'd click uh, the target. I'll just I'll just deal the five damage to the swarm. It's fine. Okay. So you kill a couple of the spiders as they race past you, but they still try to bite Gorakul. Ooh, they miss as his starry form emits enough motes of light to like blast them off of him just enough to to not get you know bit up indeed i am going to attack d'angelo Never mind. I bite at him, but he swings his great axe, and I'm forced to rear back. Another egg sack hatches. This time they charge forward and attack Perzor. Yup. What? Perzor's thick armor keeps him safe. Tiny dwarf, big AC. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, am can, am I restrained? No, no, not at all. But they are in your square, so if you move, they'd get an attack of opportunity. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'd like to move there. You're like, yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll live. I, surely, there's no way they do 30 or 56 points of damage in one attack. Oh, and then they get the mega crit. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, all right. All right, so now I'm flanking, so I'll make this attack with advantage. Uh, 
Hey, there we go. That's how you do it. For nine points of damage there, and then I'll make my extra attack. Also with advantage. Oh, so yeah. six or... Didn't matter. And then miss on the second attack. I forget that it clears it after you make one. Yeah. Uh, but that's all right. And then I will pass a turn. Okay. Heshi takes a five-foot step back. Does he have sight of the huge undead spider? Yes. Heshi, look out! Um, Heshi then uses dissonant whispers on the huge undead spider. Um, sounding like I, I cast that a lo- as a level one spell. Um, Oh, he saves. Okay, so he takes half damage from this. Yeah. Here is... Should I just roll 3d6, and then you'll apply half? Is that the deal? No. It, it'll it'll do it. Okay, cool. See? Awesome. Six points of damage, and he steps back over here. Actually makes a step over here to be next to Bitey Slayer and says, um, I can't think of anything he would say. He says something clever and witty to Bitey Slayer. <laughs> and I end my turn. Just stay back here. Don't don't go where the spider can get you. It's a tactical position here. Totally not afraid of the spider. Just want to be here. In a good position. Another sack of eggs opens up and uh, this time rushes past uh, all of you. Uh, Gorakul, you would not get an attack of opportunity because you're wielding a ranged weapon with the stuff. But Purser will. Uh, yeah. But you, oh, and didn't you had your turn? Yeah, so nope, you get another attack. Yep. Don't forget to target the swarm. Move them there just to help. Berzer. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. My wife was talking to me real fast. All right, oh, so it's sorry. <laughs> I, I, what was the question? Oh, no question. Just you gotta attack the swarm. Oh, attack the swarm. Got it. Uh. Ooh. All right. Oh. There we go. Oh no, not that one. Uh, no. that, that's okay though. I'll I'll apply the damage to the right one. Oh. Oh, was it this other one that was Swarm yeah. Three? Yeah, Swarm Three is rushing past you to attack Pesci. Um. But no worries, I got it. Oh, are you kidding me? Oof. This is ridiculous. That's fine, because I want to be able to maintain this uh, heroism. All right, there. Got them all set correctly. And Gorakul. Well, sit. Since there's a bunch of spiders near me, yeah, time to do some thunderclap.
Uh, that other one isn't in range. Did you say isn't? Isn't, correct. Yeah. Just the, just the ones on you, but it should work really well against the ones on you. Yep, they fail. Oh, they don't take too much damage, but you blow all of them off of you. Pushing them five feet into the next square. And I step back. Oracle, good, get away from the spiders. You don't have to tell me twice. So three times? It's a metaphor. What's, All right. What's the metaphor? <laughs> Oracle just sort of rolls his eyes at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, D'Angelo is going to take a couple of swings at advantage. Let's see if we can get some of this pretty sweet uh, vulnerability going. Yeah. What? Want to make sure that. Divine Rage. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. And then swinging. There we go. Ooh, good damage. Oof. Oh, you've got the Wait. your divine. I, okay, so it doesn't. Yeah, you gotta apply it for the first hit each turn. Okay, can I just roll one d six? Uh, I mean, I'm about to attack again. I was going to say, because... No, just attack again and, and apply it on that one. If I hit. Yeah, hopefully you hit. That's a dream. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? Okay, so now what we have to do... You still have your bite. I do still have my bite. Let's yep, see if I yep. bite him. Because that will also be at advantage. Also at advantage. Hey, there we go. Perfect. So now you just roll your damage as normal. And it automatically applies the... Oh, wait. You did Divine Fury twice. Darn it. Now I have to map math this out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it this way. Uh, 23, 38. Is it supposed to do 2d6 plus 8? No. Supposed... no. Okay. This be one d six plus four, right? Yeah, yeah. One d six plus three, and and then oh, and then sixteen more. So it should uh, be yeah, it should be two d six plus five. Okay, so now apply your divine fury once. Uh, uh, apply the bite damage. Perfect. So, and then that's the turn. The spider, the radiant damage seems to be blasting away the necrotic uh, energy that protects the spider and deflects some of the damage from your weapons and keeps this undead monstrosity chugging along. Um, your radiant damage really seems to be messing it up but good. All right, so the swarm of spiders two is going to charge back at Gorakul and try to bite him. Oof. And Gorakul is sort of like getting bitten and said. So, if, like, let's add yelps and such, and says, Quit it! Ow! Ooh! Ah! 
Not that place! <laughs> yeah, they crawl all inside your armor and, and around <laughs> you and they're biting everywhere. The huge undead spider bites at... D'Angelo, yeah, he's the one dealing all the damage. Oh, man. Oh, oh, that's so many dice. Luckily, it's not too much damage. Well, plus also the half from Rage is amazing. <laughs> oh, and then you succeed. So you By the way, um, of the poison damage. Well, he also has a. I gave him the um, Bardic Inspiration. I don't think he's used it yet. He has not used it yet. But he, he saved against it, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, so he doesn't even have to. All right, so you can feel this necrotic poison pumping through your body, but you're able to, like, shrug a lot of it off. The radiant power. Uh, you know, really seems to have, like, saved you. And, yeah, holy cow. Look at that. Out of all of that, you only ended up taking 19 damage? After, yeah, a crit. It's pretty solid. Yeah. All right. And... The swarm of undead spiders goes to attack Perzor. And I'm going to rule that this uh, would be at advantage because you have the huge spider and this swarm to worry about now. Normally a swarm wouldn't be able to flank, but... Yeah, look at that. Don't, don't matter. All right, I'm still correctly identifying what the larger threat is, and it's literally the larger threat. <laughs> the one that is larger by size. The physically larger threat? Yes. <laughs> it's also the metaphorically larger set, uh, threat. Man, I wish I would have targeted Perzor with that hit. Oh. And then... And then... Boom! Oh, you get him as he's focused on D'Angelo. You stab into his thorax. 11 damage. That sword of vengeance drinks its ichor. Yes, it does. Oh, then that's my turn. Okay. Pesci uh, pulls out his uh, dagger, his vicious dagger, and then targets this form of undead spiders. And uh, sure, he growls at them like a feral beast as he casts dis dissonant whispers. Ah, uh, and they have to run from me. So I get an attack of opportunity. Oh, they're immune to frightened. Oh, they're immune to frightened? Can't oh, whisper at undead things. Not, they're not immune to the psychic damage, but they are immune, immune to frightened. To charmed, frightened, paralyzed, petrified, prone, restrained, stunned, and grabbed. Oh, it doesn't say frightened, it just, they must move. They use it immediately must use its reaction, or are you counting that as being frightened? Yeah, that's a frightened effect. Is it? Oh. It's so specifically how it says is that um, racks it with terrible pain, and it must move, and it must uh, use its reaction. But he's saying racks, that it doesn't have feelings. It racks it with terrible pain is what yes. it says. Really? Yeah. Okay. So it says, you whisper a discordant melody that only one creature you of your choice within range can hear, racking it with terrible pain. The target must make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. On a failed save, it takes 3d6 psychic damage. It must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far away as possible from you. There it is. 
So basically what you're saying is you sing so poorly that a swarm of undead spiders can't bear to be in the same area as you. What can I say? Pesci has a voice that only his mother could love. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that also provoke an attack of opportunity? Then? Yeah, that was the purpose of doing this. Can I roll for it, or are you going to overrule that? Well, I'm well, fine with either. I understand no, that they're no, undead. I, I wasn't going to overrule for overrule the attack of opportunity? No, yeah, that that's going forward. You you go ahead okay. and attack. He waves this dagger around. <laughs> Can't hit anything. Okay. They and are, they are oh. tiny spiders, you know, they all yeah. carry away. Yeah, he just mostly wanted them off of him. And that you accomplished. Yes. Oh, you rolled the damage again? No, I just rolled the damage for Dissonant Whispers. Oh, you hadn't rolled it yet. Ah, I got yeah. you. Oh, okay. Oh, well, then you wouldn't have even uh, needed to take the attack of opportunity because... Uh... They did? <laughs> yeah, they they uh, fell unconscious... Um... When when they when they uh oh wait no I'm sorry they're not unconscious they are at this there we go okay cool. Um, okay. Pesci is satisfied with this. Um, he growled at them and got them to run away. Ah, spiders! I'm moving back. Help them. Help me with them, <laughs> the Heidi Slayer. No! <laughs> There's spiders back there. <laughs> I know! <laughs> oh, back there? Oh, no, we killed all those, remember? We were we were coming through, like, just zapping swarms. They got better. Okay. They got better. <laughs> yeah, no, it's safe back here. I, I don't know why you guys want to be up there by spiders biting at you. These guys decide to just join this other swarm in attacking Gorakul. Nope. Gorakul, being surrounded by spiders, is going to use... Use his... Speciality of Thundercloud. His signature move. It's like when Hulk Hogan gets all hulked up by doing the can't hear you to the crowd. Goracle says, away with you, and slaps all the spiders away. Yeah, they get blown yeah, they get off of you. And Gorakul runs over here. Oh, by the way, D'Angelo, you uh, are blind now um, because uh, Bitey is around the corner with, with the light. Um, is it D'Angelo's turn? Uh, it will be in a second. Oh, this is interesting. The illusion cantrip, uh, minor illusion, 
is not classified as a concentration cell. Right. Okay. Um, Pesci says, uh, just wait, I can take care of the light. Okay, there you go. Now your your light has been updated to signify that you're left in the dark. All right, D'Angelo, if you attack now, you're at advantage due to um, flanking, but disadvantage due to being blind. So it's just a regular roll if you were to attack. Lizard folk don't oh. have dark vision. Apparently no, I not. Can't do anything. I can't do anything about the light. Image can't create sound, light, smell, or any other sensory effect. It's just an image. So I can't do anything about it. My misunderstanding. Because Bitey Slayer ran away? Yes. I, I was like, I don't even see Bitey Slayer at this point. Probably because D'Angelo can't. Right, yeah, she's around the corner because the spiders got too close to her. I really hate spiders. But you're the slayer of spiders. I know, and I don't want to have to do it again. All right, I'm going to swing. This, oh, I'm sorry. Also, this place is very flammable. That's very true. Well, I'm going to take a swing at, well, not advantage or disadvantage, just regular swinging. That didn't go well. Let's try it again. That went horribly. Which... Let's do that again. No. Hey! By the way, D'Angelo should have three temporary hit points this turn, as it started from my spell. I don't know if it actually applied or not. It did not. I gave it. For m -m -m minimum damage! <laughs> yeah, the absolute least you could do, but fortunately, the spider is still vulnerable to your radiant and takes more damage than what you rolled. Yep, that's the dream. <laughs> And then let's go ahead and bite at it. This seems pretty unlikely. Yeah. With <laughs> the way that I've been rolling, anything higher than a six is unlikely. Yeah. And then that'll be D'Angelo's turn. M meanwhile, D'Angelo, you'll bite bite bitey? B huh? Where'd you go? The swarm of undead spiders. Uh, which one is this? Ah, oh, you. All right, is going to rush forward and attack Pesci. Oh my god, a swarm actually hit? How is that possible? Hey, it hit me! Well, yeah, but you have, like, really low armor class compared to everybody else. Yeah, the reason I didn't want to get attacked... Well, I guess I have temporary hit points, so... Not too bad. The huge now. undead <laughs> fighter... ...is badly damaged... ...and decides to bite... Um. Perzor. No, Perzor has a higher AC. Duh, I'm just going after D'Angelo. Hey, what the heck? And uh, I do believe that hits. Yes. Unbelievable. Oh, almost a 20. You were going to, like, crush that save. Well, he has the... Uh, why didn't it add the um, Bardic Inspiration to that? 
Uh, you have to use Bardic Inspiration, right? Yeah, yeah but it auto rolled. You ha you have to use the the Bardic Inspiration, but also um that wasn't gonna save that roll. Oh. Like you you would have to roll a ten, and your Bardic Inspiration dice is only an eight, right? That's correct. Yeah. So. Uh, the poison seems to have a much greater effect on you, and this time. Uh, when, when the poison hits you, uh, the spider seems to have drank in your blood and regained some of its hit points. I don't like that. Yeah, that's, that's bad. All right. That's no good. Six. Okay. I mean, don't pay any attention to that number. <laughs> oh, Perzor, why are you just immune to spider bites? It's like your armor is too thick for us to get through even a crack. I am large in every way it's an advantage to me, and small in every way it's an advantage to me. That's what she said. A, uh, I can't click on Perzor to take control of him because I can't see the character model. Oh, Perzor doesn't have uh, vision either? Well, no. No, he doesn't. But oh, uh, also... Did then the I... rules should have been at disadvantage because you wouldn't even be able to flank with two blind creatures. You don't have dark vision? I don't think so. Okay, and so uh, uh, to, to fix that, I am going to temporarily bring Bitey Slayer back over here. Yeah, dark dwarves have dark vision. Not a dwarf. Not a dwarf. Oh, you're half, you're half one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if they have like, dark vision. So yeah, you can take control of Perzor now. All right. Got Perzor. So this will be at disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really like that, but need to make the attack anyway. It's better than not making an attack. Not much else you can do anyway. You could take the dodge action, but, you know. Hey, double 11s. Uh, I go ahead and swing in it again. Damn. Uh, at this point, I guess I really do have to kind of kite backwards and... Yeah, I'll take some. One, two. Might as well move there. I'll take some attacks of opportunity, but that's okay. Say, like, Gorkul, follow me. Or not Gorkul, D'Angelo, follow me. Okay, and yep, you are going to take some attacks. Oh. It all comes down to this save. Oh, you crush it. Yes. So you are heavily wounded, but not down and out like you could have been if uh if uh you had failed that save. And then this swarm of spiders attacks you. How dare you leave my space? Get back here and let me eat you. No. Oh, well. I'm not immune to spider bites, it turns out. Not immune, but... Oh, yeah, these guys do have 
enough hit points to deal full damage. I was going to say, maybe they only deal half damage. Nope. Eh, but because you made your save, you're fine. Um, uh, this is piercing damage? Yes. I should... My, with the feat I just took, I should have resist three. I guess I have to turn that on every attack. It says that you have resist three in your... Yeah, effect note, not a custom effect because a player may have to toggle the effect on and off. Oh, I guess because... I may be taking my armor on and off. Also, isn't that the one that you chose for level 6, which you wouldn't actually have? Okay, then I can toggle that back off. Yeah. I don't get... Can I toggle it off? Uh, I, I got it. Okay, sorry. Then continue! And is that your turn? Yeah, well... Yeah. Moving away, trying to attack something, getting right. bitten, and then Pesci. Pesci says to uh, Bitey Slayer, bring me the torch. Uh, and um, let's see. You got spiders on you. Then give it to Garakul. He's next to the guy who's got spiders on him. I'm not does, asking you to stay in the range of these spiders. Does Gorkul cast light himself because he's in his starry form? Does starry form have a light effect? I mean, that would make sense. It would make sense. I just, you know, don't count on... A the bright way. light in a ten-foot radius. Ah, and dim light for an additional 10 feet. Got it. Okay. Uno momento, por favor. Done and done. All right. Um, I'm not within range of. I need to add. Perzer, did you get your three temporary hit points at the top of your turn? I was I supposed to add that or? I am unsure. It seems like a manual process. Because I didn't get mine at the top of my turn. Or is it the end of turn? I think I think it's on your end of turn. It applies it to everybody that, that is able. Until the spell ends, the creature is immune to being frightened and gains temporary hit points equal at to your spell casting ability at the start of each of its turns. Yep. So it should be at the start of your turn, the start of D'Angelo's turn, the start of my turn. Yep. Um... I don't know if I got those temporary hit points. You, you no, can check there, them. There's no, there's no way to to have it do it. Um, well, actually, there is. One second. Oh, no, not for temporary hit points. I, I, can okay. I can give you regen, but that'll be just regular hit points. Yeah, okay, that's annoying. But um, do I have sight of the huge spider from where I currently am? No. So I, I have to take a five-foot step back to get sight? Uh, yeah. I, I I know technically it it shows that you have the site there, but that's yeah, that's why I was asking because yeah. I was I was sure. 
but you can see um, how the how the wall is actually more like that but i like to show you guys the wall rather than cut your sight off there yeah understood um this swarm is currently on me yes and this is annoying because i don't want the swarm on me if i do a five foot step back that means i'm leaving the uh the space of the swarm right yes all right. Well, I'm going to take that risk. I'm going to step here. Okay. That's a five foot step forward. No. Well, <laughs> five foot step to see this giant, huge yeah. spider. No, I, I know. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. Five foot step is a five foot step. Oh, it misses anyway. You're fine. Okay. See, I target the huge undead spider. And <clears throat> I don't have this as a level three spell slot. Um, What's that? Dissonant whispers. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm done with this thing. I want it dead because these little spiders are annoying me. Well, you know, it's like I say, it was dead to begin with. <laughs> okay, so one d six for each level, and here's your level two. That one would deal 46, not 46. And then here's your level three. Which, of course, will deal 5d6. All right, good to go. All right. Let's cast this as a level three spell. Be a DC 14. It okay. fails. Pesci pulls together all that he can muster into a form of one big, uh, I guess, sonic based psychic attack? Somatic based psychic attack? Somatic is with hands, right? Yes. Verbal. A verbal psychic attack. He unleashes an insult so profound that it cannot be repeated in on aud in, audibly, and because uh, he says it in some sort of spider language, and hits the spider. Can you give me an idea of what that might sound like, Sam? No, I can't. I can't. Make <laughs> I don't have the vocal range for that. <laughs> Yeah, you have to have gnomish uh, vocal cords in order mm. to strike that right key. That's um, unfortunate. I think we were all very, looking for it. It's a very high frequency sound. So is that your turn then? Uh, yeah. That Don't forget your three temporary HP. Yeah, it won't let me apply it to myself. Um, unless I just, I guess I can, oh. It, oh, duly noted. I will apply that for you guys. And, uh... I will step. Um, uh, I will stay here because I need to be able to see it. Uh, when he attack, when the big spider attacks again, I want to use cutting words. By the way, DM. Okay. Or could I just use it right now? Uh, yeah, you you can. Oh wait, no, you can't cast another spell. It's, oh, not, it's, a not, spell. it's not a spell, it's right? Ability. All right, yeah. All right, so uh, go ahead and do that, and then give me one second. He puts in all of his bardic powers into the spell. I'd say the undead spider has to move away from me, but there's no, no direction for it that he can move that's away from me. And I'll end my turn as well.
And yeah, I can kind of like back up like five feet, but yeah, not much. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to step away for one quick moment and then I'll be back. Yep, no worries. And I ended my turn, so it's Bitey Slayer's turn. Yep, Bitey Slayer moves up to hand the torch off to Gorokul as requested. Oh, wait, no need. Gorokul's glowing like a light bulb to begin with. Gorokul, just, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Now we just now need we... Gorokul to move up. And I'm gonna bite Pesky. No, I'm not. Gorakul, seeing that that everyone is a bit that that D'Angelo needs some help, seeing in the dark, he decides to go full. He decides to like use some evasive maneuvers, aka he disengages. You don't have to. They don't have. They, they don't have reach. Don't have... Ah, good. Uh, wait, you can't quite make it there, though, because uh, I'm going to show you how you have to have to go here, okay? So, you can't go through the spider square, so you have to go here. You could go through Pes Pesci's square, but the spiders are technically in his square, so that's the spider's square right there, uh, too, so that's 10 feet to here, 15, 20, oh, you can make it there, 25, huh, never mind. There you go. Yeah. Or cool here, and uses his power to heal, to heal D'Angelo. Can you see D'Angelo? Indeed, I can. Well, that's good. And after that, he's going to use his starry map, which is a separate, that isn't a spell, it is an action. As your arrow flies through the air like a falling star, it hits the huge undead spider and crashes through it, causing an eruption of sparks to fly out from the entrance and exit holes, looking like a display of fireworks on the 4th of July. It just continuously spews out these spew, spews out these sparks i don't know if i cut off there my headset made a noise until uh it drops to the ground and um you see the broken body of a spider that has been dead for decades before you What happens well, to the swarm? Do the swarms also fall dead when they're... No. Oh, that, that would have been too lucky.
Fantastic. So do you do anything else, Gorakul? That's all. And Gorakul says triumphantly, Behold the power of the stars! Mighty's pretty sure you did that. <laughs> uh, I can you give me vision of D'Angelo? Uh, you you can't see him? No. Oh, with Gorakul there, I thought you could. No, I think because D'Angelo's right on the other side of it. What about now? Nope. Weird. I guess I there. I guessed where he was. I f okay. Uh, but the big spider's dead, right? Yes. All right. He's going to. Well, deader than it was before. Yes. What's his movement? Thirty feet. D'Angelo. Yes. Will it tell me if I'm going too far? No. No. All right, then I'm going to move there and smack a spider, which uh, do I got do I have a clear hit on any on I guess on that spider? Disadvantage cuz they're on Pesci. Okay, why does it say it's 10 feet away? Cuz it's a filthy liar. Okay, that's fair. Uh so disadvantage, take yeah. a couple of swings at them with D'Angelo. Well, that hit. Doing some damage. Killing all the spiders as the radiant glow arcs from one uh, spider to the next, like lightning, killing them all. Uh, I think, so it is dying, right? I guess I can hit it again and make it super dead. That's not the way it works with undead. They're they're just dead at zero. Oh. Then yeah, I guess that's my turn. I can't even use this because I've used up all my movement, so I can't very well get in space to make because that other that other swarm is not on Perzor, right? It's uh, just adjacent to it. Well, right. But now it now it's attacking Pesci. Yeah. Oh. It jumps on Pesci. It's like, ah, we're going to eat you. And Perzor, and we already said that Perzor couldn't impose disadvantage on that. Uh, Perzor could if he if he had the ability and doesn't need to have it preactivated. Um, but also, uh, can I take a mulligan on that? I'll take it at disadvantage. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Pesci does his best uh, Nick Cage impression and screams, I... not the spiders! Not the spiders! Because I thought uh, I thought it was last week we said that because it's I don't know, it's a whole bunch of tiny spiders it's difficult to Captain America my, my shield in between them in order to impose that disadvantage. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it totally, it totally is. <laughs> Um, but only, only once they're on them, when they're moving in, you can still like block a lot of them to, to do so. Okay. Well, we'll say that we'll say I imposed my disadvantage and he missed anyway. Yeah. So now I attack, uh, Perzor. Yep. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Uh, can I take a swing at spiders that are on me? Yes, you're like you know grabbing them and ripping them off and and smashing them on you the same as you would you know if a bunch of spiders were on you. Yeah, that's fair. All right, taking a swing at a 
They just swarm on you. Boom. Dealt some damage. Get them off, get them off, get them off, get them off! You know, I figured out why you've been rolling so poorly. What's that? You're rolling my dice. How am I rolling your dice? Because you haven't changed the color. Oh, no. I thought I... You That's might have, but sometimes it resets. It, it depends. Mm. That'll do it. Yep. Anytime somebody rolls my dice, it doesn't work well for them. Uh, well, that'll be... Uh... I guess that'll be... I made a couple attacks, missed one, attack, hit the other one. Yeah, and as always, swarms take half damage because, you know, yeah. they're just hard to kill. <laughs> dozens and dozens of tiny things. All right. Um, let's see, do I still have... I do still have my temporary hit points. Okay. Uh, sure. I'll use my second to last level one spell slot. Or dissonant whispers. Yeah, I'll use dissonant whispers on the swarm that's on me. Pesci growls again as he's frustrated by being swarmed by spiders. This and he has his dagger out. And then I have to immediately move away from you, so um... he gets an attack of opportunity. So you and uh, per uh, Pesci and Perser gets an attack of opportunity on this. Yes. Alright, so Pesci will try to attack first with his Vicious Dagger. Oh, he actually hits, wow. And you just finish the Spider Swarm off as it is forced to move away from you. You stab the last of the spiders. Pesci swings wildly and manages to cut a couple. And then he stumps on the ground. As he's trying to make sure they're all dead. Er. Yes, deader. <laughs> um, and he used a spell, so we're good, and he ends his turn. Ah, spiders! I don't imagine anyone wants a sp an undead spider for a pet. Oh, I totally, I would totally take an undead spider for a pet. I don't. I would, what? What do you mean you don't suppose anybody? Of course they would. Catch it in the jar. We'll train it. <laughs> Is it gonna grow as big as the queen? Well, if spiders, well, people do own. Pet spiders in the real world. What is this real world you speak of? That was out of character. <laughs> <laughs> so Gorakul, seeing that someone wants one of the spite the undead spiders, decides to put get out a glass jar that he got and captured one of them. Oh my goodness. Well, first of all, they're still attacking Perzor, so you have to make an attack roll to even, like, hit them. But if you wish to use your attack to capture them instead of anything else, I'll allow it. Hey! And that's a hit! Yeah, so you, you capture one of them. Yeah. Gorakul, using his... Using one of the jars, seeing one on person sort of crawling on his forehead, says, Be very still, and... Plunk! And he says, Got it! Well, not quite, because Perzor can't be really still, as he's wielding his his weapon and shield and all of that so as perzor is swinging about trying to get the spiders off you come in and you say be very still 
Perzor is unable to do so, so when you go to grab the one off of his forehead, you kind of, uh, like, bonk him on the forehead. It, do it doesn't deal any damage or anything like that. Yeah, it just sort of... And Goroku says, Oops, sorry! <laughs> that... No, no harm, no foul. <laughs> uh, and, uh, D'Angelo. D'Angelo is going to take a swing at... Okay, let me grab D'Angelo. Take a swing at the spider. Uh, can I flank the swarm of undead spiders or no? No, they're immune to flanking. Yep, that's kind of what I figured. Because it'll be a disadvantage because they're on top of Perzor. Correct. Thank you for remembering that. Oh, uh, well. So I hit. If I... Click this, and then I can... Good, it will... It... Oh, yeah. Ooh! Yeah. yeah. That'll do it! <laughs> that, that'll, that'll do it. And once again, the radiant damage flows from one spider to the next, killing the entire swarm. Gorakul just manages to tuck the spider into his pouch uh, that's in the jar to keep it safe from your radiant fury all of the spiders being dead you guys uh well except for the one uh you guys look at each other and, and realize that you've just taken on thousands of these spiders and and killed them all except for the one gorakul has and now like you have a choice do you continue deeper into the dungeon to find the secrets of the Beholder and... And to find the cure. Yeah, yeah, all of that. You know, or do you turn back now and get your, get your rest because you're all like, you know, I mean, various stages of messed up. Uh... Well, Bitey's fine. She was smart. I mean, I did just burn through all my spells, but... I mean, if we could do a short rest, that would be useful, at least. Regain our H HP. Okay, but how much? Bitey will stay up here and guard. How much time do you think... Do we think that we have before that orc... Because the whole point of coming to this town to begin with was to warn them of the impending orc invasion. Oh, yeah, you guys have, like, another, like day and a half two days you know something like that but that's about it so are there any anything that we can think of that might uh allow us to ready ourselves for the invasion or are we trying to run away from it yeah i'm I, all for i i don't i don't know you know like i i'm not a um module running like you know, railroad kind of DM. So just because orcs and goblins are coming for that village, like you guys can, you know, just go somewhere else completely and be like, not our problem, you know? I mean, even then, like we intended to warn them, but as soon as we arrived, everybody turned into, uh, well, pumpkin zombies. Yeah. Pumpkin zombies. Um, that'll teach you to show up on Halloween. I know. How much more of this? <laughs> I mean, I'd like to do a short rest so we can recover HP. You guys have have been able to get a short rest in. Okay. At least one 15-minute short rest, which allows you to spend one hit dice. You have to spend okay. 15 minutes per hit dice. All right. And I get back my um, Bardic Inspiration. Yes. More the important thing. Correct. And, I, and but you also get because of my sitting around here um, a song of rest as well. So you get a little bit more than just yeah, yeah. You get that extra D six or whatever. Yeah. So I guess let me oh. target everybody. Yeah, yeah, target. And wait, I don't know who has a who has what dice size. It doesn't matter. It's it's a D six for everybody, right? 
doesn't say in, I think it's my I think it's my Bardic Inspiration die size. Oh, it's a D8. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me double check. I I thought Song of Rest was just a D6, but you're right. It might be based off of. Oh no, it's one D8 at ninth level. That's Ooh. way different. Okay, let me do one D6 for everybody. Boom! Shakalaka. And I will also regain some HP as well. It's good for you. Uh, I guess during our short rest, can we take that opportunity to kind of search the spider's lair? Uh, no. You cannot perform that strenuous of an activity and be taking a short rest. However, you can take the extra time to search the spider's lair if you wish. Let's take yeah. that time to search yeah. his lair. I think let's go ahead and take that time and search his lair. Her lair. Her lair. It's lair. I don't want to assume. Well, it, it was laying eggs. What, what is the difference between a barbarian and an enhanced barbarian? The enhancement. Okay. <laughs> I I honestly don't know. I, I'm going to look into it, but I left it on there because he had obviously chosen that. Uh, so somebody needs to roll investigation or somebody needs to roll to help with investigation. And then somebody needs to roll investigation. Either way, investigations need to get rolled. Who has I the will... investigation check? I have a plus four. Zero and you negative know, one. I'll assist in investigation. I don't think D'Angelo or Perzo will be very helpful in this. I'll roll with uh, advantage. Okay, 16. Not too I'd bad. Like I'd like to imagine that Perzor is a little bit too honorable to go rummaging through everybody's stuff like that, and that D'Angelo basically just smashes everything open like Diablo. That's fine. Oh, yeah. You need these Absolutely. eggs smashed open anyway. Go, take care of these eggs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To smash all of the rest of this stuff. Uh, so, um, you... I kind of imagine. Well, it's like maybe D'Angelo goes smashing things, and Perzor just kind of stays near D'Angelo because he has a tendency to get himself into trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Pesci, as Gorokul is helping you to cut open some of the web cocoons and find some of the bodies and. You know, all of that. Um, you guys... And guys... I imagine after, during the sword rest, Gorkle remembers to punch some air holes. The bottle. These... Oh, it's dead. It can't breathe. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, these are... Everything in here, including the spiders, have been not breathing for a long, long time. So Gorkle... Uh... So sort of remembering to try and uh, help punch some air holes, he sort of sees it, sees the the spider is still moving, and sort of is surprised that it doesn't need air. The spider looks at you and attacks the side of the glass. <laughs> well, aren't you, aren't you an active little bugger? He didn't even put like a, a stick or some leaves in there at all. He put a stick and some leaves in there. Keep it busy. So uh, you guys managed to find some gold and, uh, you know, no, basically no, no magic items or anything like that. But you do find uh, three potions of healing. Oh, nice. So I'm going to... I'm going to throw those in the party sheet and you guys can uh, take them. Yeah, yeah, fight over them. That's right. My wife says fight. <laughs> fight. fight. <laughs> uh, I think that they should go to the other three. So D'Angelo, Perzor, and Garkul. You well, should you, each take that's, one. That's the beauty of this is that you guys get to like grab them as you see fit. So. 
Where's the party sheet? Uh, up in the upper right next to the combat tracker. Oh, I see. That's cool. Yeah. And then there's an inventory and a blah, 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 and a blue, blue, blue. All right. Well, uh, I will I will add some gold to that party sheet as well. Um, but uh, that that pretty much wraps up this session of Dragons of War. I want to thank you guys for playing. I want to thank anyone who's watching. And as always, everyone, good, good gaming. gaming.